Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Veos and we're going to do something a little different today. In order to try to save time in production, I am going to play and talk at the same time and then in edit I'll just cut out the boring parts. So here we go. Today I'm going to do a little something different. I'm just gonna, well, actually I, I've been meaning to, so ever since they added the drunk, what the hell, and it's not working. Hello. Ever since I they they added the robotic in, there it goes again. T. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna name this project T. Ever since they added the robotic parts, I've wanted to make a type of dump truck. Right? Sounds simple enough. Kind of boring if you think about it. I never really. I've made dump trucks before in KSP by utilizing the landing gear to push the entire truck upwards in order to dump and come back down. But since we have robotic parts now, maybe I can make a, a legit dump truck. So that's what I'm going to do in this small little video. You know, I, it looked good in my head, but now that I'm about to do it, suddenly I have builder's block. I'll build the chassis first, right? Oh. I was kind of hoping that was going to work for me, but I don't think that's going to work. That's a little too much of a crew cab there. Oh well, old fashioned way. Hmm. <laughs> trying to make a bumper for this thing it might be a little harder than I thought. See, I'm trying to make it kerbally, right? I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to recreate a, an actual truck. I'm just trying to make it. <coughs> Bless you. <coughs> Bless you. No? Oh, okay. I was wrong. I'm trying to make it kerbally. Hmm. This sort of looks all right. Yeah, this ain't working. So I was thinking about the whole caution lights on the very top. There we go. It's got its own little engine now. It's got fuel, battery. Now for the actual bed. All right, so I'm going to do this a little differently. I could, in theory, just get one of these and that'd be all you need, right? But I'm going to try to mimic reality here. And I know that KSP doesn't like to do the whole connecting. The way it works, you can never really make a circle because the ends will never connect. I mean, I guess you could put docking ports on those and have them connect once they get into the game world. But the way the KSP works, the way the building method works, you can never have a complete circuit. Kind of dumb, but it's the way it works. And everyone who's ever, who's been playing this game for eons has gotten used to KSP and its weird way of building things so I will be using this as a as a connection actually that's pretty weak I'd be afraid it might break um, oh I know what you mean there we go oh sh that's huge oh boy I think it's technically it's 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 something right okay so let's do this not motorized not locked power loss free we just want the hinges that's all we're using it for that's all we're using it for is its hingeability there we go mud flaps not exactly long enough, but they'll do. All right, so I know that it, the Kerbal cannot come out if this is blocked at any specific length. And see if this is wide enough for a Kerbal to come out. Let's see if he can come out. Nope. Now, I have noticed that if there's a small gap here, that the Kerbal will be able to come out. A little small gap in between. And let's see if it allows the Kerbal to come out now. Bingo. Isn't that ridiculous? It's got like a little measuring rod right here invisible measuring rod that it has to be like way back here for it to not register as blocked it's dumb i know really really dumb but it is what it is so we'll just use that small gap to our advantage knowing that small gap still works this is a hinge it does not have any power in it the power comes from an actual hydraulic cylinder now actual dump truck hydraulic cylinders do have that extra extension i know because i drive them and they can be, uh, sometimes they can be temperamental. Sometimes you can raise this sucker all the way up in the air and then suddenly it doesn't want to come down. Or it comes down really slowly, like it comes down real slow. And then finally it just goes, oh yeah, I have to go down now. And it's like, holy crap. And the whole thing comes down at once. Okay, so in an actual dump truck, there is a type of housing inside here the piston will push up against inside. And so when this whole thing comes down, it will hide inside that housing. So what I need, something like this and that on top. This will also be a kind of a dead weight. It won't have any motor whatsoever. The only motor will be the actual piston. This will move back and forth, allowing this to bend with the actual platform. Once I figured this out. Okay, this could work. 
This could work. Ooh, yeah, I forgot about that stupid door. Uh, well, we could actually do a duel. Be a little trickier, but we could make it work. Give it a dual piston. Or make it a dual, but close enough to where it could be sort of sort of considered as a single single unit ish thing. I know that's not the greatest thing in the world, but it's better than nothing. It's getting there. Some gaps right there. Okay, so we have our piston housing for the uh, dump bed. Ooh, hope that's far back enough. Okay, let's see if our carbo can still come out. EVA, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, cool. What we actually want right now is these to be stuck inside here. So I'm going to make this same vessel interaction along with this being the same thing, same vessel interaction, same vessel interaction, same vessel interaction. That makes it a little box. And this will be same vessel interaction. And uh, we'll hit the number one key. Ah, oh, 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 okay, 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 oh, wow, mm. So the idea is if it falls forward, it automatically hits this right here, so it keeps straight up and down. I'm actually thinking that this wall right here is going to be a problem with the piston, so we'll have to work on that later. Number one, oh, oh, no, no, ooh, ooh, ah, uh, okay. So if that wall is going to be a problem, that is a lot of connection points. Ah, uh, no, I forgot about the stupid gap I've got to leave in the middle. All right, so once we get our housing figured out, we can actually do some stuff here. And number one key. Uh, hey, there we go. Fine. Well, uh, so what I think is going on is, and I'm not sure about this, but I think this is actually sitting on these pistons. Like if these pistons weren't here, this whole thing would plop downwards. Actually, let me see if that's the case. You can kind of see that it's bending down a little bit, warping down the weight. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll make this same vessel interaction and this one same vessel interaction. So it's kind of a little platform holder. So I was thinking maybe I could use these like a uh, way to separate the two, keep them separated. I mean, it's an idea. And go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Constantly fighting me. Okay, so I figured even if I can't really get the pistons to work, maybe I can get like the tailgate to work. Okay, well that's, that's close. It's not perfect, but. All right, so when we raise this up, this has a free hinge to it. Power loss locks, no. Which means that uh, it should just open right up and dump whatever's inside of here and there you go. Huh, that kind of works. All right, no fighting yet. Let's hit number one key, see what happens. Oh, okay. And look, even the tailgate opened up. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Uh, they say not to do this, but sometimes I do do it because I'd, I'd rather not drive down the road and get everything all messed up. Make sure my brakes are really good in order for this to work. No, I'm not meaning to be a naughty person. Okay, here I go. I'll go, I'll, I'll go, I'll go forward and I'll hit the brakes and then boom. I'll go forward, hit the brakes and then boom. And all this stuff that's caked on here will fall right off. Oh, that's like the real thing. I love it. Locking mechanism. I'm talking about KSP now, so it's not exactly going to be a, a, a perfect. We can do this. We can do this. Yeah, I think that will work. Yes, because I can actually decouple these when I get out into the real world. All right, number three. Hey, they all de decoupled like, okay. And then you would go ahead and open up the tailgate. There we go, so cool. And you hit number two and you raise it up. And then as you raise up, the back would open up sort of like that. Yeah, okay, it's dumping out now. This needs to go a lot taller, just like this, right? But, and number two. Come on, baby, come on, baby, come on, baby. Yes! <laughs> oh, 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 hey, whoa, hey, hey, ho, oh, whoa! <laughs> okay, raise it up. Oh, wait, there we go. Dumping all the stuff, just like you're supposed to. Very nice. And then, get the tailgate, lock it, and we're out of here. <laughs> Gosh damn it. Oh, that's how it's done, baby. 
That's how it's done. Okay, let's make this thing look pretty and call it a video. Okay, so we're back, thanks to movie editing magic. I uh, went ahead and switched a bunch of stuff around so it's a little better now. But there she is, ladies and gentlemen, there she is. Oh my gosh! I do believe I did a good, fantastic job. But now we have to test her out, we have to make sure she works. Got a lot of payload over there, although normally it'd be all the way to the top, but hey, who's counting? I wonder if these tires will pop if I hit this. Am I hit this? Bam. Oh, wow! I made a tandem fly in the air. Number one, unlock tailgate. Number two, let's dump the sucker. Oh, let's make sure our blinky lights are on while we're doing it. There we go. Just dump it right there. Have fun. <laughs> right? Then we pull forward. Pull forward. Got to clean the tailgate. Right? Pull forward and hit the bam. There we go. Make sure we hit that nice and get all that mud off of there. Okay. I'll bring down the tailgate. Gosh damn it. This is awesome. Exit. Yeah, we can still exit! Well, there she is, folks. If you like what you see, think about subscribing today. Well, everyone, thank you so much for being here, and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. I am Veos, signing off, and have a good night. And that is messing with my, with my eyes. I've got to fix that.